happy Easter, and I guess kind of happy April Fool's Day, right? I mean, is that a thing? Do we say happy April Fool's Day? I don't know. I did, so I guess I do anyway, whether or not everybody does. So I'm assuming the Anthony Davis uh, unibrow shaving thing, that had to be April Fool's, right? I mean, it got posted a day early, but I don't think he really shaved it. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. It's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> All right, we have several things on tap tonight. And before we get started, we always go over a little information. So let's get uh, started with that right now. First thing you see there, uh, my feedback is 100% automated on eBay. So what that means to you is anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get it in return without having to wait on me to get caught up. So, because you know what? I'm always behind. <laughs> Second thing and the most important thing that you see there is to say thank you. I appreciate everyone who bids with me and breaks with me and many of you chat with me. I see Bryce is in chat right now. He also said Happy Easter and Happy April Fool's Day. So maybe I'm not the only one that says Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to play any jokes on anybody today, though, so I'm kind of bummed about that. But I was too busy. I had a lot going on. Next up here, we have a list of the things that are coming up on eBay over the course of the next five days. This is the stuff that is already listed. I do typically list five days out, so new stuff goes up uh, pretty much every night and then we'll break five days after it's listed. <clears throat> so tomorrow night, uh, you can see we have several one box breaks and also a full sized helmet, and then a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures football and a half case of Heritage Baseball. That is the last of the Heritage Baseball that I have. On Tuesday, we're gonna do an autographed jersey and we're gonna do a Leaf Draft Blaster break, a full case of blasters. So basically, here's what that means. Leaf does their blasters in a different sort of way. In that, they take the hits, it's two per box, and they package them separately. And then they put in packs of base cards that you know aren't going to have hits in them. They're just going to be base cards. So we're going to break all the hits, which will be 40 hits in that case. And then we're, I'm going to take the unopened packs of base cards, and I'll just divvy those up, and bidders uh, will get some unopened packs of base cards, and then of course the hits will be done as normal. Also on Tuesday night will be my last full case of National Treasures football. The last two cases have been unbelievably awesome, including a one of one Deshaun Watson that came out of the most recent. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then of course, we're also gonna break that same night, the last full case I have of Panini Revolution basketball. That's the uh, hobby version. Wednesday, we're going to do an autographed regulation size football, a full size helmet, a half case of flawless football, which comes out on Wednesday, and a half case of optic basketball also comes out Wednesday. Thursday, we will start a new case of Trinity baseball and break half of it. We will break half of 2011 Prime Signatures, another half case of flawless, and we will start a new case of Gypsy Queen. On Friday, we'll do a jersey. And we're going to do Leaf Metal Draft Football, assuming, I mean, that's the, supposed to be the release date. If it gets pushed, obviously the break will move. Uh, but right now, that looks like that's coming out that day. It's a weird case size. It's a 15-box case. So we're going to do that as a third case. And um, I think it's five or six hits per box. It's only hits, no base cards. Another half case of Flawless and another half case of Optic Basketball. So that's what it looks like for the five days ahead, for tonight. Uh, this is mostly the order we're breaking in. It's going to be the uh, inked threads jersey, then the leaf icons cut signature, followed by Trinity baseball, then the Chicago show exclusive basketball, and then the Don Russ basketball. As you can see there, three of our breaks have free shipping. Anytime a break has completely free shipping, it goes out uh, five or six days after the auction ends. So I'm expecting those breaks to go out approximately Friday. As always, if you have another package that goes in the meantime, it'll probably hit your ride and leave sooner. If that's the only thing you have coming, look for it to ship on or about Friday. Paid shipping breaks tonight are Trinity Baseball, Donruss Basketball. Those are most likely going to get out the door on Wednesday. It's always plus or minus a day, so it could go Tuesday, could go Thursday. I expect it to be Wednesday. 
And then finally, um, our four breaks tonight, that, or our three breaks tonight, where not everyone is going to pull a card or an item. Here's what you need to know. If your team is not pulled and you don't get anything at all in the break, you are entitled to a consolation trading card that can be from any year or any series for your team. That would typically be sent with your next hit. It can be sent sooner upon request. Just send me a message on eBay and let me know. There's also more information about that in the listing description. So first up tonight, 2017 Historic Autographs Inked Threads Multi-Sport Autograph Jersey Break Number One. So of course, all of our spots were sold by the first letter of the last name. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. We had a couple of letters that didn't sell. That was Q uh, and V in this break. Everything else, you'll see the bidder name across from the bidding position. And of course, it ended tonight, April the 1st, along with everything else that we're going to break tonight at all, ended on the 1st. You're going to notice that the background goes out of focus. That is by design. I don't use autofocus in the breaks. I kind of manually set the focus. Sometimes I have to tweak it as we go along, but I think most of the time we get it pretty good. And I see Jason is in chat also saying happy Easter to everybody. So happy Easter to you too, Jason. I hope the Easter Bunny brought us something good in this box. This is... I'm not sure who this is. Oh man, I got... What is happening there? We've got tissue paper like stuck to something. Oh, what is going on? Okay, I don't know. There's a piece of taper. I don't know. Whatever. It all got stuck. It doesn't really matter. Here it is. <laughs> this is a Kellen Winslow jersey. So that's going to go to bidding position W because obviously the last name starting with a W. Kellen Winslow. There you can see the name on it. Hi, T. Cassidy. How are you? And as our authentication, we have a little PSA DNA authentication card, and it's going to match the PSA DNA sticker up there at the top. So when you get this, please make sure that you look for this little card before you toss everything away, because sometimes those little things can wander off on their own. So once again, Kellen Winslow... Good grief. It's <laughs> our jersey hit out of uh, the historic autographs inked threads. And that's a really heavy jersey. You know what? Let's look and see, by the way, if this is authentic versus like a custom or a replica because it's really heavy. Well, I guess it is. I guess it is a replica or a custom anyway. But it was so heavy, I thought it might be an authentic. So now I can spend the rest of my life... Uh, trying to get it folded back up in the bag like you have to do with a map. It's impossible. That's going to bring us up to some Leaf uh, Sports Icons cut signatures. Let me just get our spreadsheet up here and we'll take a look at that and then cut the plastic on these. So once again, if you are in this break for the Leaf Icons cut signature multi-sport, Please take a moment to review the information you see there on the screen in regard to your anticipated shipping date, as well as what happens if you do not pull something in this break. So this is three boxes of Leaf Sports Icons. This is break number two, so the second time we've broken it. And it's the same uh, as we did with our multi-sport jersey, as in spots were sold by the starting letter, beginning letter, first letter of the last name. So that is what we're looking at. Everybody's got a chance there to get their mojo working. And let's see if we can't pull something nice out of here. The last break, we just did two of these boxes. But this break, I decided I wanted to do three. So hopefully, we're gonna find three awesome things in here. You never know. I mean, sometimes the stuff is well, it's true of anything, though. I mean, sometimes the stuff you pull out, everything you pull out is amazing, and other times you pull it out and kind of think, well, you know, I like two of them, the other one I don't like as much. So I'm hoping, though, because it's Easter, that we're going to have some good holiday luck, and all three of them are going to be crazy good. 
That's my plan. My plan is everything we pull tonight will be crazy good. All right, this is obviously a check or cut from a check. Oh, it's Gary Carter. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, of course, I'm getting ready to say the team name. No, no, this is done by first letter of last name. So this goes to bidding position C with the Gary Carter cut signature. There you can just see our empty box. The second one is, there again is our, I'm going to show you, there's our empty box so I can get it out of the way. This one is uh, Doug Harvey and Al Barlick. So we have two different on here. So that means we're going to end up going to random. We've got Doug Harvey on one side, and then we've got Al Barlick on the other. So unless we have the same person that owns bidding position H and bidding position uh, B, then we'll have to go to random for that one. So we'll set that one over there for a minute. Oh, oh, that's not who I thought it was. There for a minute, I got really excited. <laughs> but it's not who I thought it was. But it's still kind of cool. Uh, but again, it's two signatures on here. We have Lou Brock on one side. And then we have Orlando Sapita on the other side. So we've got uh, a couple of things we've got to look at there in terms of random. <laughs> Bryce says, oh, that figures. He must be involved in in one of our uh one of our cards that has both uh positions on it because he's saying dang it i should have bought b also he didn't say dang it i said dang it i added that part so first up let's look at doug harvey and al barlick so last name b is jeffrey karma and then the last name h is royal five then the second one was lou brock which again jeffrey karma has the b and Orlando Sapita is Welchel Danny. So it looks like both of those cards are going to go to random. And let's get switched back over here so that I can get myself onto random and then I'll bring you with me. Okay, so um, in each case, we'll take the letter that's on the front of the card and it will be entered first. So on the Doug Harvey Al Barlick card, we'll put in, I'll type in H for Harvey, then the B for Barlick. And I will do random three different times. The first two times are not going to count. It is only the third and final random that counts. So ignore the first one, ignore the second one. Here comes the third and final. And now you'll see randomized three times. There's our date and time stamp that goes to bidding position B. So that is this card right here is going to the bidding position B for Al Barlick. And I am going to write that down. So give me a hot second here to get that done so that I don't have to go back and watch the video to figure it out later. This one on the front, we have Lou Brock. On the back, we have Orlando Sapita. So we're just going to basically repeat. We're going to rinse and repeat with B and C over here in random. I didn't really realize there were that many in here that had two different signatures on them. I thought the majority of them were just one signature, but clearly we see tonight that is not the case. All right, so first one doesn't count, second doesn't count, third and final, there it is. Our date and time stamp, it also goes to bidding position B. Go figure. All right, so this one goes to the Lou Brock bidding position. So those two we just did, and then of course our other one uh, was Gary Carter that goes to bidding position C. So that has, let me write down Lou Brock, that has our Icons Cut Signature all finished up. And you know, we, yeah, we're, I started to say we'll go ahead and do the Chicago show next, but I don't think we will. We'll stick with the order we had. We'll just go ahead and go right on into Trinity Baseball. As soon as I get our spreadsheet up, here we go. 
So if you are in Trinity Baseball, once again, your anticipated shipping date is Wednesday. And if you should find yourself not pulling something in this break, you will be sent your random card when the rest of the break ships because this is a paid shipping break. So you wouldn't have to wait for your next hit if you don't pull something in this particular break. Six boxes of 2017 Leaf Trinity Baseball half case break, break number two. We started this case on Friday night when it came out. Of course, uh, between now and then, I have learned that both the Indians and the Cardinals have no hits in here. So I ended the auctions on those. Uh, I ended them whenever I got that message yesterday, I think it was. So I pulled those two out. That's why they were not available for bidding tonight. And then, of course, I didn't list them at all in break number three for the same reason. So... Uh, Bryce, there were a lot of really nice hits in the first part of this, as a matter of fact. I was really happy with uh, what we pulled out. Ah, why do I keep knocking that over? I was really happy with what we pulled out of the first part of this, actually. So, there's a couple of things you need to know here about Trinity Baseball. The first thing is, of course, unlike Topps products, which are the only ones who can list the teams correctly on the front of the card because they're the only ones that have the exclusive uh, license for MLB. The other products, uh, they have license with the players themselves or with the Players Association, etc. This is, of course, one of those because this is Leaf, not Tops. So the way that Leaf gets around that is on the cards that have a patch on the back It'll, it writes a little paragraph, or they write a little paragraph, and it'll say something like, the Cincinnati Reds drafted, you know, whoever, Hunter Green in the first round in 2017, or whatever the case may be. That is their way of identifying the team. Now, sometimes it will say, you know, such and such was drafted by the Giants, but was a key part of the trade to go with the Padres. So when it says that... Obviously, you know, it's acknowledging that the player is currently with the Padres. The card would go to the Padres. If it only says drafted by whoever, then it's going to go to the team that's listed on the back. Because that's basically, why can I not cut through that? That's basically their way of listing the teams without listing the teams. There are some cards in here, however, that are not the patch cards. And if they're not a patch card there's not going to be a team on them. If there's not a team written on them at all, front or back, then it will then it will go to the team that that player is with as of right now today, this point in time. So hopefully that all made sense. It'll probably make more sense when you get a chance to look at them in a minute, but that's basically the rundown. Yeah, Bryce, I knew you meant Trinity, and that's what I was responding to, that yes, we had some very nice hits out of the first half of this case of Trinity. I was really very happy with uh, what we got out of it. I do not know why in the world can I not get cut through the stupid Leaf Security sticker tonight. I think I need to change the blade on my little utility knife there. And, of course, everything that Leaf does for their hits, they come out ready to go. By that, I mean they're already in sleeves and top loaders and literally ready to go. So, we don't have to worry about ripping open packs and all that stuff. We just have to dig the cards out from under the foam inserts and we're good to go. All right. So, first up here... Victor Robles, so the Nationals already off to a good start because that is numbered to 10. It's number 10 of 10. Next up, we have Hans Krause. That does not appear to be numbered. I will have to look that one up. I don't know that team off the top of my head. Mirandi Gonzalez, that is numbered to 5. That is a nice uh, little hit. And this is an example of what I'm talking about. 
See how it says here on the back, he's signed by the Mets, etc., etc. So that's how you know that that card goes to the Mets because that's their way of identifying the team since they can't technically write it on there. Colton Welker, and that is a really nice patch. Card itself is not numbered, but it is an on-card signature, of course. That is for the Rockies. I think everything in here is uh, on-card. Ooh, how about a little Kevin Maytan to 25? Very nice. And they're identifying this as the Braves on the back. So they're, uh, they're leaving him as a Brave on here. So that's where that is going, the Atlanta Braves with the nice Kevin Maytan. Bubba Thompson next out. Bubba is going to the Rangers. I don't really know what the kind of the purpose is of those little foam inserts because really the cards, as you see, slide underneath them and stuff anyway, but, but what are you going to do? Edwin Rios. Let's just go ahead and get the other one that doesn't have a team on it. And this is Sam Carlson, number two, 10, number two of 10. And then we have uh, Haria, number 225, for the Brewers. Cubbies, Trevor Clifton. Danner, I don't know who Danner is. Why do I not recognize him? Hagen Danner. And this says Blue Jays. Okay. So, he, oh, he was 61st overall in the 2017 draft. So that's out for the Blue Jays. Next up, we have Tanner Houck. Houck? Houck? And that is the Red Sox. And we got somebody sliding once again down, down underneath there. Underneath our little foam piece that I think is probably supposed to keep them from sliding down underneath there, right? <laughs> Corey Ray to 25. I believe Corey Ray is Brewers, if I'm not mistaken. But again, any of these that have no team on them, written on them, of course, I'm going to verify them before I send them out. Mark Vientos. Nick Allen for the A's. Kevin Smith for the D-backs. That's a nice patch, numbered to 25. Griel, Lord's Griel. That should be the Blue Jays. And then we have Joe Adele for the Angels. Very nice. Excellent little hit there for the Angels with the Joe Adele. I see a redemption in here on the redemptions we never it doesn't really say you know what you're going to get it says it can be a parallel or whatever so you kind of don't know on those until they show up in your mailbox but what few leaf redemptions i've had to do myself personally they have shown up pretty quickly reese hoskins there's a nice little hit for the phillies and this is Freddie Tarnock, Ruiz to 25. Our redemption is Seth Romero. That one, well, it does say that one's going to be a patch autograph card, so at least we know that much. Nate Pearson. Blue Jays again. Blue Jays are killing it right now. Adam Hazley, that's nice. Phillies again. See, I'm trying to just bring all the ones that don't have a team name on them up to the front first. Makes it easier, I think. Gliber Torres, Yankees. Drew Waters, numbered to 25. Another redemption. This one is Nick P 
Prado, also a patch auto card on that redemption. Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays again. Good grief. Blue Jays are crushing it right now. Christopher, I can't say his last name properly. Cease, Sice. Uh, that is the Rangers. Tristan Lutz for the Brewers. Blue Jays have an insane number of hits in here. I mean, in this half, anyway. Kyle Wright, numbered to 25. MJ Melendez, Royals. And this is Alex Lang. That is a nice looking patch there for the Cubbies. Garrett Hampson to 25, Rockies. And Clark Schmidt numbered to, oops, that's a one of one. Never mind, that's not numbered to anything. That is Clark Schmidt. Well, it is numbered, but it's one of one. Little Clark Schmidt, nice. And then Brent Rooker wraps us up here for the Twins. So we'll do a quick little uh, pass through of these again. Just a quick look. I'm not going to read all the numbers off and stuff again, um, but we will take one more look as I recap in case uh, you missed it earlier, jumped in late, or you're scrolling to the fast forward part, watching it on the tape delay. So I do have another case of this. Uh, I think we saw on the spreadsheet it's going to start again on Thursday night. Was that right? I think so. So we'll open it on Thursday and probably finish it on uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday of next weekend. Of course, I'm still hoping that we're going to find uh, an Otani in here. However, the Joe Adele tonight was a nice little hit for the Angels anyway. Even though we didn't find your Otani, we did find your Joe Adele. How about Otani today, right? He struck out, what, six, I think? Something like that. Retired like 14 out of 15 or something along those lines. Man, I think he had a pretty good day on the mound overall from what I saw anyway. You can see the whole game. I just saw a recap. So maybe uh, everybody's right in the sense that they all said, oh, he doesn't do very well in spring training, but when the real games start, he steps it up. So maybe that's going to be the case. We'll find out as the season goes along, I guess. Kevin Maytan, that's a really nice little hit right there. And out of the first half, I'm trying to think. I know you asked me, Bryce, what all we pulled out of the first half, and you know me, I am absolutely dreadful with remembering what we pull out of things even five minutes after we've pulled it. But I do know we had an, we had a Ronald Acuna in there, and we had a Mackenzie Gore, and we had Brendan McKay. And I'm trying to think if there was anybody else. Those, I mean, those are the main ones that I remember out of the first half. So, of course, you know, we, we pull Reese Haas. Oh, we had a Cody Bellinger in the first half, too. But then in here, you know, we get Joe Adele. We got Reese Hoskins. We got the Kevin Maytan. We got the Torres. Uh, so we did pretty well overall with the whole case, in my estimation. We pulled most. most of, and then the Guriel. I had forgotten about him. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I think we did very well with this case of Trinity. That is going to switch us into the basketball groove. So for all of the baseball and football folks that are probably uh, taking off, thank you once again. I appreciate you. I hope you have an enjoyable uh, rest of what's left of your Easter Sunday. And uh, hopefully I will see you again for another break coming up along the way here. So this is um, our free shipping break right here. This is what we're getting, re getting ready to open. The Chicago uh, Show Exclusive Signature Edition Basketball Box from Hit Parade. So once again, your anticipated shipping date is Friday the 6th. And if you don't pull anything in this break, 
you are entitled to a Constellation used assorted random trading card in a year, any series for your team. Typically sent with your next hit, can be sent sooner if you ask. Just let me know. So this is one box of 2017-18 Hit Parade Chicago Show Exclusive Signature. I left out the word edition. I should have put the word edition in here. I don't know why it really matters, but I'll just fix it for the sake of argument. Signature edition basketball break number one. And of course, like everything else, it ended tonight, April the 1st. And we're live streaming it tonight, April the 1st. Looks like uh, the Memphis Grizzlies did not sell in here but everything else did. So uh, if it were to be a Memphis Grizzly, it would hang out here with me. Otherwise, it's going to go out the door to one of you. Oh, Bryce says I pulled the uh, card he wanted for the Royals, but he lost the team in the bidding for Trinity. I'm sorry. That's a drag, Bryce. That, that kind of stuff happens to me sometimes, too, and it is super frustrating. But maybe we'll maybe we're gonna get lucky and we'll have the same card in the next case too, right? I hope. What hiccup did he have in the second ending? This is just a coupon, but it's got a code on it, so I'm gonna block off the code, but just show you that it's just a coupon. Because I might want to use that code, right? Maybe. Oh no, it expired. <laughs> we should have opened this sooner. It expired last night. Oh well, such is life. Kevin Durant is our hit. That is nice. Kevin Durant to 49 for the Golden State Warriors. Stars of the NBA out of prestige. So that is a that's a pretty solid little hit there uh, for the Golden State Warriors. And that is, of course, other than our coupon, that's it. That's all that was in the box. So not much to recap there. One card. There it is. And it was a good one. That's going to roll us into Donruss basketball. This has a massive amount of cards. So, yeah, if you need like a snack or a potty break or anything, now's the time to do it because we'll be doing these for a little while. This takes forever. But, you know what? I'm after those next day autographs. I am. I want those on-card signatures. The next day autos have been heating up. So, I'm going to try to find this some. Once again, if you're in this break, your anticipated shipping date is Wednesday. Everybody in this break will pull some cards because there's a massive amount of cards coming out of here. So we don't have to worry about consolation cards here. This is uh, five boxes of 2017-18 Don Russ basketball. It is a quarter case. This is break number seven. So the seventh time we have been in Don Russ um, we did a bunch right when it first came out, and then, of course, we did some last weekend and then some tonight, and I probably uh, got enough to do another couple of breaks with as well. All because I want to find the next day autographs. <laughs> the box says on here that we should find one memorabilia card or one autograph card, but the reality of it is that we're going to find one of each because that is the way it has been in every box we have opened. It has all been one of each. And we're going to find all kinds of other inserts and interesting things in here. And we could also <clears throat> possibly find some Panini Rewards points. If we find those, it means one of our hits has been replaced with a Rewards Point card. We would, of course, uh, give out the rewards point card using random.org at the end of the break if we come across any. The other thing to know about this, the cards are going in a hundred different directions in here because Panini has some kind of weird compulsion about changing the direction of the card a hundred times in the same pack. Because we have so many base cards and so much to look through. And because I'm not a fan of the excessive handling of flipping them back and forth. We're just going to look at them some right side up and some upside down. Unless someone objects. So if you, if that like puts you over the edge and you can't deal with that. <laughs> just jump into chat. Say hey, flip them all over or you're going to send me into a tizzy. And I will flip them all over the correct way. But in the absence of seeing that in uh, messages here, in chat messages, then that's what we're going to do. 
So some will be right side up, some will be upside down. And speaking of chat, if you're watching live and you, that's the wrong sleeve, and you can't see it, two things. One, log into YouTube. Two, if you're on a tablet or a mobile phone, click on the link that says uh, you want to view the desktop version. And once you do those two things, you should be ready to rock and roll. Now, maybe we can eventually look at that. So her first hit is uh, a Marcus Smart Relic for the Celtics. And I see Bryce is saying that Otani uh, gave up three hits, the third being, ooh, third being a three-run home run. That is bad. Okay. Well, that part's bad. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that in the recap. Uh, I just saw the, you know, he struck out six and retired like 14 of 15. I didn't see that he gave up a three-run homer. So, oh, well, growing pains, I guess. There's old Jason Tatum. Of course, I am flipping uh, some cards, the ones that, like that, like if we want to look at the Jason Tatum insert, those I'll flip, but a lot of them we're just going to keep on keeping on. Unless there's a reason to do otherwise. If this is all clear for takeoff. We will find a whole lot of those inserts uh, as well. The retro insert that we went by a second ago. There's lots of those. T. Cassidy 9, excuse me, T. Cassidy 935 is looking for some wizards. Chicago Bulls, the champ is here. Another insert set that we will find quite a few of. So I guess by now, everybody has seen Markel Fultz, you know, smash into Embiid and fracture his uh, orbital bone. So they get Fultz back only for Fultz to take out Embiid. <laughs> like, because he's got to have surgery on it now and everything. I'm like, dang on, man. The Sixers can't catch a break. That is to 99 Terrence Ferguson. That is kind of the hollow foil type finish on that one. But, I mean, what are the odds, really, of that happening? Running into your own teammate and then fracturing the bone around your eye on top of that. That's just crazy bad luck for them. Retro series insert. Especially because poor Embiid, he has a hard time staying on the court anyway. You know, he's had his injuries over the years and finally had been in pretty good shape this year. And then his own teammate fractures a bone in his face. Poor guy. If you're wondering why these boxes, we didn't, you know, take them all and number them and all the stuff we usually do when we open a case, it's because of the way I ordered these. Um, I originally just ordered 10 loose boxes, like half case, 10 loose boxes. And then after they came, a couple days later, I thought, you know what, why don't I just get the other part of that case because... Really, I'm going to want to open more than that if I don't find the next day autos that I'm looking for. I know I'm going to want to keep opening it. So I just said, you know what, send me the other half too. But that's how they came. So they came as 10 loose boxes and 10 loose boxes. So that's why we didn't, you know, have to crack it open and pull them all out, number them, use random and all that. To 299 Press Proof DeMar DeRozan Raptors. But, of course, we've got Optic uh, coming up on Wednesday. That's its release day. So we'll bust into a little of that on Wednesday night. But in the meantime, we'll open the rest of that revolution. Forgot now what I said on that spreadsheet. Either Monday night or Tuesday night will be the, the revolution break. A press proof for the Grizzlies, numbered to 199. And some of the rated rookie press proofs, depending on the rookie, uh, some of those actually bring a little bit of money. Not like our next day autos do, but but some of them have a little a little punch to the value. Luke Kennard for the Pistons next day auto. 
Out of the last break, we pulled a next day for Justin Patton, and this is a next day for Luke Kennard and the Pistons. So I am finding them. I just haven't found exactly who I'm looking for yet. And Selby, you are asking me, did we break the jersey yet? Yeah, that was actually the first thing we broke tonight. It was um, Kellen Winslow, so it went to last name W. So the W bidding position for the Inked Threads multi-sport jersey. Yeah, usually the, the memorabilia stuff, most of the time, um, I'm just calling you Selby because I have a hard time uh, figuring out how I should pronounce the first part of that username, so that's why I'm calling you Selby. But usually the memorabilia stuff breaks right up at the beginning of the break most of the time. Malik Monk, Rookie Kings insert. Every once in a while it might be, you know, second or third in the break, but... Usually it's right up near the front. A little Dennis Smith Jr. Rookie Kings. I think he's back in the lineup, back from his injury. I think I read that. Excuse me. I had to sneeze into my shoulder there. I knew it was coming, but... Whew. Took a second. <laughs> it's allergy season for me, right? I mean, it is just dreadful. That's because I'm allergic to trees. Most trees, I'm allergic to grass. I mean, <laughs> pretty much anything outside, practically. I'm allergic to it. So as soon as it starts blooming or pollinating or whatever it's going to do every spring, it is just brutal for a stretch of several weeks. So I will apologize in advance if I have to sneeze again, but I do always sneeze into an elbow or a shoulder, especially when I'm doing a break. So that keeps it off of my hands and off of your cards. I am super bummed that I didn't open <laughs> that other hit parade thing like a day earlier because I had a coupon in it I could have used, but no, it expired yesterday. That kind of stuff always happens to me. I never find it until it's expired. They must not have... Um, well, I guess I have had that here a couple weeks ago. I had to think about that. I'm thinking, that didn't have a very long expiration date. But then, yeah, I think I have had it here a couple weeks. So, that might be the problem. Rudy Gay for the Spurs to 199 press proof. I was kind of trying to do a little bit of inventory this weekend to figure out what I do actually have here because I have so much stuff here right now and a lot of it I just don't even have sorted and put together so that I can do breaks, you know, some mixed years and or mixed products for the same year. Man, I did not realize. I've got stuff uh, I need to get opened. That is to 49 Dennis Schroeder for the Hawks. Again, that's kind of that hollow foil uh, type card. So we just had so much stuff coming out lately. And everything it seems like that's been coming out has had a zillion base cards. So it takes a long time to break it and you can't do as much in one night as you could otherwise do. And then, of course, that means it takes at least, however long it takes to break it, you can count on it taking about 150% of that time to sort it. And then still another chunk of time, probably roughly equal to the amount of time it takes to break after it's sorted to get it ready to ship out the door. So each one of those breaks takes such a long time to do. 
in all those respects that I can't do as much other stuff around it. But I've got stuff I want to break. A lot of cool stuff. I, some stuff I found I didn't even remember I had. So, so I'm going to try to get some of that worked in over the course of this upcoming month. Including, I found I've got a case of uh, 2011 Crown Royal. How about that? <laughs> There's a TJ Warren press proof to 299 for the Phoenix Suns. And John, yes, we did break Trinity already. We're actually in Don Russ basketball. We're in the last break of the evening right now. So we've done, we did the jersey and then we did the leaf uh, icon pet signature then Trinity, then the Chicago um, show exclusive uh, signature edition basketball box, and now Don Russ basketball. Yeah, yeah, T. Casty, I've got Chrome here. Uh, for sure I do. I just, I don't even have it ready to do in a break, but I've got it here. But honestly, the stuff that will break first is going to probably be the stuff that's already ready to go. Because then I, otherwise I've got to take pictures and write the description and do the whole thing. Which if it's already ready to go and I'm in a crunch for time, I'm always going to opt for the thing that's already ready to go. Because I don't have the chrome mixer ready yet. I don't have the strata mixer ready yet. And I don't have any of the basketball mixers ready. I know that's not what you want to hear, but <laughs> but that is the truth. There is just, I do not have uh, enough hours in the day most of the time to get done even what needs to get done. Especially given that I have found a bunch of this other stuff that I didn't even, some of it I knew I had and I had just kind of forgotten about. Some of it I had forgotten I even had. So that was part of today's project. Find out what all I do have. The champ is here, Kobe Bryant insert. And I didn't even get all that done. I got part of it done, but not all of it. A little Josh Jackson rookie insert. Terrence Ferguson for the Thunder. And a rookie Kings insert. Followed by a Markel Fultz Rookie Kings insert. I've actually got Chrome Minis too. I forgot about that. I've got Chrome Regular and Chrome Minis. So I got a couple of different possibilities there for mixers that I just haven't gotten done. Press proof Draymond Green to $199 for the Warriors. And we are going to start doing some Timeless Treasures basketball again. You know, we did that for a while. The uh, one box of 1213 and one box of 1314 Timeless Treasures. We did that kind of all throughout last year at various points. Uh, so we're going to get started on doing that again. But I don't think we're going to be able to do the Innovation Mixer because I'm having trouble locating enough. Uh, particularly of the 1314 innovation, the supplies kind of dried up on it. And that's made life uh, difficult, so I haven't been able to find it. Have we hit, we haven't hit anything in this box yet, have we? We should be, where's our autograph and where's our, there's something. There's our relic. That's J.J. Berea for uh, the Mavericks. But we haven't hit an autograph in here, have we? No. So, like, where is it? Josh, uh, Jordan Bell for the Warriors. So I guess they just gypped us out of this box because there's no autograph in this one. Well, I can't really say that they gypped us because the box does say either or. It's just in all the other boxes we found both. But, no, there really was only one hit in that box. And it was uh, the J.J. Berea. And that's unusual. Because see, it does right there. It says one or one autograph or one memorabilia. But literally, all the other boxes we've opened 
have had two, except that one. That one did just really have one. That's kind of a drag. Of course, I guess I can't complain if we got what we were supposed to get and all the other boxes that we got more than we were supposed to get. So, kind of starts making you think that you're always going to get the two, but I guess that's not the case. Well, no, John, I haven't uploaded the video. I'm still doing the break, man, so I can't, I can't, I can't upload it when I'm still doing it. So, I mean, it just, you know, it just, I started breaking at 10. You know, I don't like cut the video and then start the next product. Anything we do in, in the one evening is one long break. So, I can't, you know, upload the video while I'm, Still in the midst of the break, unfortunately. But YouTube will have an archived version of the break. I don't really know how long after I finish it becomes available, but I think it's probably a few hours afterwards. And that's just basically they save a version of this. And you would be able to watch that sometime later tonight, although I don't know, as I said, exactly what time that would be. Otherwise, tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I will upload the recorded version. The only difference between the version that YouTube archives and the version that I upload is that I will put in the uh, tags and the titles and everything in the version that I upload. And YouTube obviously uh, doesn't. So look at that. A nice little bam at a bio next day auto for the heat. Nice little hit for the Miami Heat. And I don't think they sold for very much tonight. And I know that Bam, you know, he's kind of maybe a little bit hit the rookie wall lately. But it's not, uh, I don't think it's anything to worry about. I think he's going to be a good long-term player in the NBA. And I think that's a nice little hit that, that the Heat just got right there. So two next day autos, not bad, not bad. Out of three boxes so far, that's actually pretty good. Markel Fultz. So you know it's one of the few products where we know we're going to get rookie on-card signatures because all of the... Uh, Next day autos in here are on card. Revolution Basketball being another place where we get on card stuff, which is obviously one of the reasons I went back and bought more Revolution, or bought Revolution for us. I had previously opened the, a different version of it. Court Kings, John Wall, and Hall Kings, Reggie Miller. But we're right around the corner from National Treasures basketball. Like, we're not far at all away from that. Mitch Richmond. But you know what else? Two new basketball products coming out after National Treasures. One is, I think, called Dominion. Sounds about right. And it's really high-end. It's... Uh, like two fifty a box, or maybe more than, and it looks very nice. The other one, I can't think what the other one's called. Um, ah, I can't remember what the other one's called. Well, anyway, there's a second new basketball product coming out too, but it's uh, it's less. It's maybe one twenty or something a box, one twenty, one twenty five, a little bit less than that. So both of those will be interesting. And then, of course, we have encased basketball coming up. And you guys know I'm super stoked about that one. Press proof Dellen Wright to $199 for the Raptors. Well, for one thing, I love encased football. Started, you know, last year was the first year for it. This year will be the first year for basketball. Aaron Gordon to 99 
for the magic. Once again, that's the kind of hollow, hollow foil type finish. John W., good night to you too, and thank you for wishing everyone luck. I know they appreciate that. James Harden, Court Kings. If there's one thing we can never have enough of, it is good luck. A Rookie Kings Lonzo Ball insert. You know, we opened a case of Chronicles uh, a couple nights ago, Friday night maybe, to 199 Doug McDermott for the Thunder. And we found, I'm just thinking about luck, <laughs> a Kobe Bryant redemption in there. Maybe, num was it numbered to 25 or was it numbered to 99? Might have been numbered to 99. And then we found a Steph Curry live auto in there. Like it was a crazy good case to 299. Dennis Schroeder, Press Proof Hawks. But you know what I did not find? Our gala insert that I have been looking for forever. Russell Westbrook. We've opened six cases of Chronicles. I have not yet found that gala insert. Chronicles basketball, I mean. We opened Chronicles baseball too, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. Guess there's a reason that thing sells for several thousand dollars if you pull the right rookie. It is exceedingly hard to find. Even the mid-level and low-level rookies, that card sells for a lot of money. They just don't come out. I mean, they're all numbered to eight, so obviously I knew there weren't a lot of them to begin with. But there are several different players that are numbered to eight, which should overall give us a decent odds, but six cases, still none. Boris Dial for the Charlotte that says Bobcats. Of course, they are the current Charlotte Hornets. Cards always stay with their franchise. And uh, so that will go to the Charlotte Hornets with the Boris Dial. Rookie Kings Josh Jackson insert. Box four of five. Plastic coming off right now. I'm kind of thinking about doing this the next time as a 10 box half case break. But Here's the caveat. If I were to do that, I would not ship uh, any, any base. I would only send inserts, which of course includes the rated rookie inserts. But I would only send inserts and not base because that would be just, a, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of cards, obviously. See how many five boxes, it would be twice as much. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that? If we broke it as a 10 box next time, but didn't ship anything but inserts and hits, do you have interest in that? Or do you want the base and you'd rather just stick with the five box breaks? Because normally I do ship the base with everything. But I would not with that. Rookie Kings insert Harry Giles. I mean, it would still take us as long to break it. It's not like it would break any faster. But it would then sort faster and be easier to ship if I didn't, uh, if I didn't send the base. I think that's the only way I would do the 10 box at once. Nicholas Batum for the Hornets, numbered to 49, with the hollow foil. So nobody has any thoughts on that one way or the other, I guess. Nobody's saying anything in chat, so I guess you guys don't really have a, a strong preference one way or the other.
course, tomorrow night, we've got the championship game. I don't really know, but I, I, I think Villanova's probably going to win that. Fultz for the Sixers. I mean, you've probably heard me say that I have, I have Michigan picked in my bracket to win it all. That's only played one bracket this year, and that's how I put it together. But yet, when it comes right down to it, up against Villanova, I mean, I don't think anybody's going to beat Villanova if they hit as many three-pointers as they hit Saturday night. I didn't get to watch most of the game because I was doing a break. But uh, some of you guys were nice enough to keep me updated on the score. And then, of course, uh, I looked at the highlights uh, after the game. And, I mean, they just torched it from three-point. I don't think you beat them if, you, if they shoot like that again. I mean, I don't know anybody's going to beat them if they shoot like that from three points. Three point land. I was kind of, even though I had Michigan picked in my bracket, I was kind of sad that they knocked out Loyola. Chicago, because, you know, it's always good to have the little underdog Cinderella story in the tournament. And those guys were so much fun to watch throughout. I kind of wish they had made it on to the championship game. That is number two, 99 Jonathan Simmons hollow foil for the magic. And I guess some of our Kentucky guys are going to announce their NBA intentions on Tuesday night. I'm sure most of them are probably going to take off on us, but we have Jawan Howard for the Wizards. Significant signatures. And I was looking to see if that was numbered. It does not appear to be. Jokic, Rookie Kings. A press proof for Stephen Adams to 199 for the Thunder. Seems like there's been a lot of Stephen Adams just inserts and in general numbered cards, whatnot. Just all of a sudden, it seems like Stephen Adams kind of keeps popping up everywhere. I'm probably just noticing it more, but sometimes it seems like they come in waves. Josh Jackson, rookie insert. Dr. J. Kobe used to be that way for me. Kobe Bryant. Like I would pull him in something and then you, I would just kind of know he was going to show up in something else a couple more times within the next few breaks. And he did always seem to kind of come in bunches. And then I might go a while and not pull him and then pull him again in little groups. The Greek Freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Court Kings insert. I guess actually Court Kings has some on-card autos too, don't they, in the fresh paint? Forgot about that. Jersey Kings, Kevin Love for the Cavs. I might go back and see if we can, see if anybody I buy from still has some Court Kings. Oh no, I need to sell through what I've got first. We need to get through all the stuff that's backlogged, then we'll worry about that. Court Kings, Kevin Durant. Rookie Kings, Jarrett Allen. See, that's what happens to me. I start thinking about something like that, and then I think, oh, yeah, I should go pick up some more of that. And then I'll get it and break that and forget about something else that's here, and that's how I get all this stuff that I forget I have. To two ninety nine, Kevin Durant, press proof for the Warriors. Fifth and final box. In this break,
I have to say, though, I'm pretty happy with what we've uh, gotten tonight so far, considering that out of five boxes, well, we've only opened four boxes, so right now out of four boxes, we pulled two next day autos, so I'm kind of okay with that. Kings, Harry Giles for the Kings. Well, I gotta stack that back there. I have no idea. Lonzo Ball, the rookie's insert. Because a long time ago, that's where I would stack things after we looked at them. Uh, I would stack them back there before I got a bunch more mats and just filled up the whole right side of the table with mats. Now I can just slide it. Uh, on that side into the sorting part and not have to worry about it but for a long time that's where I stacked them after we looked at them so I guess that's just muscle memory there trying to stack them back in the back again <laughs> crazy another Jarrett Allen rookie kings insert Oh, I've also got some, you know, we opened some 1213 gold standard the other day. And I have some more 1213 gold standard, but I also have some 1112 gold standard basketball. And I have some 1213 contenders basketball. And some 1213 limited basketball. So we've opened all we've opened all the 1213 stuff before, but I don't think I've opened any 1112 gold standard in the past. So that will be new to the rotation. And then some of the 1213 stuff we definitely uh, opened last year. Or within the last year, probably. Because you know how I like my 1213 stuff. I like having the double rookie class. I like the fact that uh, there were so many good players in that double rookie class, you know? I mean, out of out of 11, 12, and 12, 13, yeah, that's some awesome stuff we can pull. Frank Mason the third rookie Kings, and then a Hall of Kings, Dr. J. Rudy Gobert for the Jazz. A Swatch Kings insert. Relic. And Andrew Harrison for the Grizzlies. Huh, how about that? Significant Signatures, Andrew Harrison. He, of course, used to play for my Kentucky Wildcats along with his twin brother, Aaron. I think Aaron got... Didn't Aaron get picked up somewhere recently? Didn't the team pick him up? I think so. But I can't remember who, but I believe so. Tony Bradley to 299, a press proof for the Jazz. Of course, we will recap our numbered cards and our signature and relic kits as soon as we look through this last little bit here.
Oogie Cousins for NOLA. That is numbered to 99, hollow foil. If you guys didn't see the Anthony Davis uh, eyebrow thing I was talking about earlier, you should go look for that video. It's pretty funny. He acts like he's going to shave his unibrow, but then uh, accidentally, accidentally knocks the camera over, like right at the point where he should be shaving it. And then, of course, when it comes back, he says, oh, it's done. And he does have two different eyebrows, two separate eyebrows, but I think they just put makeup on it in the middle. To 299, a Clay Thompson press proof, but it's still pretty funny. I think it's just because if you look at the video, like this, the where he had the razor and the way he was holding it, he would have cut off way more of his eyebrows than what you see when it cu cuts back. So, pretty sure that was just an early April Fools. To 199, Jarrett Allen for the Nets. Well, that and the fact that he had the Red Bull towel over his shoulder makes you think, okay, Red Bull sponsored that little bit of fun. Uh, T. Cassidy, you said there was a Wizards hit. What are you talking about? Like where I just, um, you're saying I just went by something numbered? Is that what you mean? Out of this last, you just said a Wizards hit. So that does not tell me anything too specific so i'm assuming you mean there was a numbered something i went past so i'm flipping back through them here i didn't think i skipped past anything numbered but you know what it is not outside of the realm of possibility for sure but can you tell me like who was on the card or anything like that so that i know what i'm looking for because there's a lot of cards stacked over there I don't know which ones the last ones were that I sat down, so I'm just kind of flipping back through what I think maybe were the last ones. But so far, I haven't seen anything for the Wizards that is numbered. So if you could give me a little more info, T. Cassidy, that would be helpful. This is the next group. I don't find it in here I'm probably just going to go ahead and go on with the recap and then uh, you and I can search more for it uh, after the fact if you can let me know who it is you think I missed all right because I don't see it there uh, out of those last several stacks so oh you're talking about a hit a wizard's hit no, I don't think we had a wizard, did we? Or maybe we did earlier. I mean, you meant earlier. You didn't mean like right now. <laughs> okay, I thought you meant I went past something right now. You meant earlier in the break then, I guess. Okay. Terrence Ferguson to 99 for the Thunder. Jarrett Allen to 199 for the Nets. Clay Thompson to 299 Warriors. Boogie Cousins to 99, Nola. Tony Bradley, 299, Jazz. Kevin Durant, 299, Warriors. Stephen Adams, 199, Thunder. Jonathan Simmons to 99 for the Magic. Nicholas Batum, 49, Hornets. Dennis Schroeder. 299 Hawks, Doug McDermott, 299 Thunder, Aaron Gordon, 99 Magic, Dellen Wright, 199 Raptors, Draymond Green to 199 Warriors, TJ Warren for the Suns to 299 Dennis Schroeder to 49 for the Hawks. Rudy Gay to 199 for the Spurs. To 199 for the Grizzlies. And to 299 for the Raptors. So those are our numbered cards for the break. Now let's take a look at our hits. 
Nice little Bam Adebayo hard signed next day auto for the Heat. Hard signed next day for Luke Kennard and the Pistons. Significant signatures for the Grizzlies, Aaron Harrison, or Andrew Harrison. Sorry, I was talking about Aaron earlier, and I said Aaron, that's Andrew. Swatch Kings, Rudy Gobert, Jazz. Jersey Kings, Kevin Love and the Cavs. Jawan Howard, significant signatures for the Wizards. Boris Diaw, back to the future relic for the Charlotte Hornets. Jersey Kings, J.J. Barea for the Mavericks. And Swatch Kings, Marcus Smart for the Celtics. So that wraps us up for tonight. That's the last thing we had going this evening. So once again, thank you to everyone. I appreciate you spending part of your April Fool's Day and part of your Easter Sunday with me. Uh, hopefully we found you something you wanted in here. And for those who might be watching it after the fact on tape delay, I will once again very quickly put up the screen with the shipping information for you. And then we'll take a quick uh, scroll through the upcoming listings. Uh, again, you know, all of this, of course, I spent a little more time on at the beginning of the break uh, if you wanted any more detail. But in case someone's just watching after the fact, that gives you something to look at right there at the end. So once again, thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your Easter Sunday, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.